BYD Seagull is priced at below $10,000. Its test weight is less than 1.2 tons. After the crash, low voltage function. Hazard lights on. Doors unlocked. No call system. The passenger side door couldn't open. Rescue and extrication rating moderate. The front bumper and crash box didn't work well. The crumple zone functioned badly. The pillar and roof beam were torn. The B pillar deformed, but the structure basically remained intact. The beam between the B and C pillar couldn't withstand the huge impact. The compartment was thus compromised. Structure rating poor. The front passenger sustained a serious neck injury. Head and neck protection rating poor. No hope for survival. The driver only had a mild chest injury. Acceptable. Other body parts are in harm. This test, its overall rating, moderate. 40 miles per hour 40% frontal offset crash against a deformable barrier. Simulates a crash against other vehicles. This is the IIHS moderate overlap frontal crash evaluation, a standard in NCAP assessments. All vehicles are set to the maximum load. Front, one dummy. Second, row, to dummies. If there is a third row, to dummies. After the crash, its low voltage system worked. Hazard lights on. Doors unlocked. Lack of a call system. Rescue and extrication rating acceptable. A pillar, B pillar and rocker panel deformed severely. Structure rating, poor. The driver's airbag deployed late. So its neck was injured extremely bad. Neck protection rating, poor. He could barely make it. The driver's calf also suffered heavy injury. Poor. From restraint system, poor. The rear left passenger suffered severe chest compression. Moderate. The calf was also injured badly. Moderate. The right passenger's chest was injured lightly. Acceptable. The calf is also slightly injured. Acceptable. Rear restraint system. Acceptable. Crash test, its overall rating, moderate. 50 miles per hour 70% rear end crash by a 1 point per tons test vehicle. Simulates a secondary high speed rear ending. The dummy layout and weight distribution remained unchanged. According to the US Federal Regulations 301 and 305, major focuses are fuel and battery leakage, thermal runaway, and structural integrity. After the crash, its power battery was intact. No leakage or thermal runaway. Power battery integrity, great. The C pillar deformed severely. Significant deformation on the rocker panel. Severely deformed door ring. And the door that couldn't open. All these factors made rescue extremely difficult. Structure rating poor.
this crash test. Its overall rating, moderate. 